Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Rob, AKA The Diligent Dev, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can easily add animations to your Vue.js applications. We're gonna be looking at how you can add animations when you're navigating between pages, how you can animate single elements on the screen, and also how you can animate your list data. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and get right into it. Okay, so here we are over at the computer, and what I've done is created a boilerplate view application using NPX and the view CLI. If you don't know how to create a view application, I will leave a link on the screen right now to a video showing you how to do so. Now, in order to get animations very easily into our view project, we're going to import a package called animate.css. And if we head over to their documentation at animate.style, you can see that they have a ton of different animations in here and you can go ahead and click all of them and they will show you different animations. These ones are attention seekers, then they have entrances and exits. But what we're concerned about right now is getting it into our project. So we'll scroll down a little bit and we'll click on this installation. And we're gonna be using NPM to install it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this right here head back to our project, open up a new terminal, paste that in and hit enter. And once that's done installing, I will be right back. And now that Animate CSS has been successfully installed, let's go ahead and check out their documentation to see exactly how we can use it inside of our view project. And you'll see they have some basic usage right here. And it says after installing Animate CSS, add the following class, which is animate double underscore animated to any element along with the animation name. So if we look at this H1 tag that they're animating, they've got the animate double underscore animated, and then they have animate double underscore bounce, which would be this first one right here now if we wanted to use something like back out and down all we would have to do is put back out and down where bounce is so let's go ahead and head back over to our project and what I'm gonna do right now is start a development server so in the terminal I'm gonna run npm run serve and once that's all set up and done I will be right back. And now that our development server's up and running, what I've done is I've opened up a new browser window and navigated to localhost 8080, which is displayed down here in our console. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is import the animate CSS package in our main.js file. So head to src main.js and right underneath the router, we're just gonna say import animate CSS. And we'll go ahead and save that. And the first thing I wanna talk about is animating our page transitions when users are navigating between pages. So as you can see, we have a nav bar up here and it has our home and about. If we click on the about, it takes us to the about page. And if we click on home, it takes us to our home page as intended. But as you can see, if we click between these, it's a little jarring to the user. And I think we can make this a little bit more elegant if we fade out the page you're leaving and fade in the page that you're navigating to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to app.view and in app.view, you see we have this router view. And this is, determines what component gets injected into the page based on how you've set up your router. And then all we need to do is wrap this in a transition tag. And this is given to us by default by view. On our transition tag, we need to specify three properties. The first one is going to be mode. And this determines the sequence of timing between the leaving and entering components. So what we're gonna specify is that we have a, a component going out and another one coming in. So view does not try to load the incoming component before the outgoing component animation has finished. The next thing we'll add is an enter active class. And what this is, is the class that we're going to give the entering component that's going to be appearing on the screen. So we'll use our animate.css class and we'll say animate double underscore animated animate double underscore and we're going to be using the fade in animation the next property we need to specify is the leave active class and this will be the class that the leaving component is using during its animation and since it's very similar to this one i'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste this in here and we're just going to change that from in to out we'll go ahead and save everything and we'll see now that we have some very nice page transitions of the leaving component fading out and the incoming component fading in. And now that we have our page transitions animated, let's go ahead and look at how we can animate a single element on the screen. Now, in order to do this, we're going to show and hide this view logo. And when it appears and disappears, we want an animation to occur. So I'm gonna head over to views, 
home, and you'll see we have our logo right here. Now, in order to make it appear and disappear, show and hide from the screen, we're gonna put a data property down here. And in this data property, I'm going to set a property called show image and set it equal to true. And then up here on our image, we're gonna put a VF and we're gonna say show image. Then above that, I'm going to add a div. And inside this div, we're going to put a button in there and we'll say toggle image for the text of the button. And then we will bind to the click property and we'll say show image. If I can type equals the opposite of show image. There we go. And now we see we have our toggle button and if we click on it, you'll see that the image is showing and hiding on the screen. But it doesn't look very elegant and it's a little jarring to the users. So we're going to wrap this in the same exact tag we wrapped our router view in, which is the transition tag. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now, as we discussed before, and let me close this. So as we discussed before, the transition tag takes a couple properties. We're not gonna need the out and in because we're not showing, two, showing and hiding two different components. All we're gonna need is the enter active class and the leave active class. So I'm gonna go back to our app.view and just copy these out of here. Go back to home, go to our transition tag and put those as properties on our transition tag. Now I want this to animate a little bit differently than our page transition. So I'm gonna say that when it fades in, we're going to fade in down. And when it fades out, we're going to fade out up. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we're gonna to toggle our image. And you'll see when it leaves the page, it goes up and fades out. And when it comes back into the page, it fades in and down. And now that we've looked at how to animate single elements on the screen, let's go ahead and look at how we can animate list data. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to go to the about page and I'm gonna make an unordered list of random numbers. So let's go ahead and go to views and go to about, and I'm gonna add a script tag down here. And inside of the script tag, I'm going to make a data property. And inside of it, I'm going to say random numbers and set that equal to an empty array. And then below this, I'm going to make a methods property and we're going to put two methods in here. The first one is going to be called add random number to list. And inside we're going to say let's random key equal math dot random times 10 underneath that we'll say let's random number equal math dot floor math dot random times 10 and then we'll say this dot random numbers and we will push into it and we will push with an ID equal to random key and a number equal to random number. Go ahead and close this down so we get a better look at it. And then we're gonna make another method called delete random number. And we're gonna pass it the index and then say this dot random numbers dot splice and we will splice at the index and we will take out one item out of the array. Then up in our template tag under our H1, we'll put a div inside of that div. We will add a button. We will say add number and then we will bind to the click property of that and we will set the click property equal to add random number to list. And then underneath our div here, we will add a new tag called transition group that is given to us by view. And this is how you would animate a group of items or a list. On this transition group, you can put a tag property and this is the tag that it will generate in the HTML. So we're gonna say an unordered list. 
and then we're going to have our enter active class and enter leave class. So what I'm going to do is go back to home. I'm going to grab these two, go back to about and go ahead and put it on the tag. Now the animation when the list item comes into the screen is going to be a bounce in. So I'm going to go here and say bounce in. And then for the leave active class, we're going to say bounce out. Inside of our transition group that will be converted to an unordered list when it is rendered, we're going to add some LIs. So we'll say LI. We're going to do a V4 on this LI and we'll say OBJ index in random numbers for the key we're going to say obj dot id and then in our li tag we'll do some text interpolation and we'll say obj dot number and then we're also going to bind to the click property of this li and set that equal to delete random number and pass in the index. I will do Alt Shift F to format this so we can get a good look at it. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And you'll see now we have our add number. And when I click on add number, you'll see that it bounces into the screen, but this doesn't look very great. So let's go to the bottom and add a style tag. Inside of this, we'll make a class called list items. We'll set the display equal to flex, align items equal to center, justify content equal to center. We'll give it a font size of 36 pixels and we'll say cursor equals pointer since we're going to be able to click on items and delete them. I'm gonna go ahead and save this again and refresh the page. And before we do that, we actually have to come up here and on our transition group, I'm going to add a div with a class of list items. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to wrap our transition group in that. And I'm gonna go ahead and save everything. And now that we see when we add numbers, they're appearing very nice and big and centered on the screen and they bounce in. And if we click on them, they go ahead and bounce out of the screen. And that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this tutorial. So to recap, we looked at how to animate page navigation, how to animate single elements on the screen, and also how to animate list item data. Now, if you got any value out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or concern about this tutorial, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. And until next time, happy coding.